Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to Ducati UK for a first of a, a couple of videos I'm doing riding all sorts of new Ducati models for 2023. To start this little series I'm going to be riding the new Monster SP. Now the Monster believe it or not is a bike I've never ridden so even despite having an old Hypermotel 1100 I've never ridden the Monster. So for 2023 this SP version comes with all those SP add-ons you've got the full Olin suspension front and rear, Tomignoni exhaust and this incredible SP paint job with the uh, Stylema calipers as well so we're going to take this out for a little bit of a spin around the local countryside to Silverstone it's a little bit of a quick ride. We were, in, we were actually in an escort, escorted ride with a lead rider, but the pace is brisk, the bike is brisk, and this is a really fun first ride video. So sit back, grab yourself a cup of something warm, and Chopsy, roll the intro. The Monster is actually a bike I've never ridden before. I, it's one of those bikes, few bikes, which has slipped under the radar and I've never tried before. So I'm really, really interested in trying it. Obviously, I've ridden the Hypermotard before. I love the Hypermotard. So it's the same engine. I think it's a different frame. Yeah, it's definitely a different frame. The Hypermotard's got a trellis frame and this is on the, the uh, what do they call it? The, uh, oh, what's it called? What's it called, that frame? Uh, I can't remember. It's got one of those frames anyway. <laughs> the same engine as the Hyper. The L Twin, 111 horsepower. I think 98 newton meters of torque. You know, it's it's a it's a torquey engine. You know, it, this is. I know they got the the V2 engine. It's a very revy twin. This is more of a torquey twin. So this is more power in the bottom end. If it's anything like the Hyper, anyway, I'm really quite eager to see what this is going to be like. I think it's going to be like a blooming supermoto as well. Lightweight, loads of power. I've turned off the wheelie control. We're good to go. So for those which don't know, I'm six foot two, 20 stone. So a rhino of a man. And this is a little lightweight. I think this is really light. I think it's 150, 160 ish kilos dry. Riding position is very upright. Your feet are sort of back a little bit. Again, you're sort of very upright on the seat. There's no real weight on the bars, which is quite surprising. I thought there might be a bit more over the front, you know, being the SP and a bit more weight on the front, but you're very upright. Actually, a very similar riding position to the uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, this feels quite similar to the Hypermotard in many ways. Obviously, shorter travel suspension, not quite as long. But it's got a similar sort of feel to it. Perhaps a bit more support with the seat because the, the, you know, the big bench seat on the Hyper is not particularly comfortable. Also, the Hyper sort of feels like you're on the nose. This is a bit more relaxed. I think you know, the Hyper does have that weight over the front sort of feel to it, you know, very aggressive. This is a bit more neutral than the Hyper. Suspension on the rough stuff, yeah, it's quite firm. You know, it's going to be. Now, this has been set up for handling, not comfort really. That's why you've bought the SP, isn't it? A few track days, sporty road riding. It's what you want. Yeah, this, this feels nice. This feels really nice, actually. Loads of grunt, loads of pickup. You know, this again is one of those engines which has been in the Ducati lineup for years and years and years. And over the years, it's just been refined, refined, refined. And now, very, very easy to live with this. Whoa. <laughs> Catty have moved away from the trellis because the, the monster was always known for that that trellis frame. You know, it was a big part of the look of the bike. Now that's now gone with the, with the monocoupe chassis. But I have to say, I mean, what that does bring to the party is incredible lightweight. You know, very lightweight this thing. I think it's 158 kilos or 168 kilos 
dry. Well, I'll pop it on the screen if I'm wrong, but it's not a lot. And the hyper's more like sort of 185 dry. It's a much heavier machine because that has retained that trellis frame. So the monster may look you know, very different now without that trellis frame, but there's a reason for it. Riding dynamics. Production roar is intoxicating. Actually sounds very much like the street fire I've just ridden. Very much like it actually. It just goes to show how much the Street Fighter feels like a, a V-twin. Straight away I can tell you this is just my cup of tea. <laughs> the Hyper Motard was my favourite Ducati. I think the Hyper is my favourite Ducati. Yeah, because it's so much fun, this already, I can tell you, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, the brake feels really nice as well. Those style lemurs, I'm sure the standard monster brakes, there's nothing wrong with them. But you just get that little bit extra with the style lemur set up. I think the guy there with the orange jacket, this is, there's two groups of riders and we've caught up with group two now. And the guy with the fluorescent jacket on the back there, I think he's the MD of Ducati UK. So we better be a bit sensible when he's around. If I ever want to ride a Ducati again. Not that I'm not sensible all the time, obviously. Oh, this is good. This is really nice. This could be my new most fun Ducati. That distinctive sort of Desmo head sound. There's something, there's something special about the Desmo twins. I'm so pleased Ducati haven't completely removed all of the twins from the range. I mean, the V4s are fantastic, but there's something, I don't know, there's something special about a Desmo twin that you just can't replicate with these parallel twins with their cross plane cranks. You just, there's something special about a twin. And it's nice to see, you know, still being used. <laughs> Even though the Olean's is set firm, you know, and it's got a rigid chassis, this. It's still plush. Because it's Olean's, it's plush, you know. It feels really nice, and even over there, these roads aren't great. <laughs> listen to it it's so agile it just dances on the nose fast a road stuff despite being very lightweight very short it still feels really sure footed doesn't get too upset by the bends flippers nice It's not just the slow speed twisties, even the faster bends. It feels really stable. Yeah, I, I like this straight away. This is very, very good. I really like all of the Ducatis with this engine in, even the Super Sport. I love the Super Sport as well as a road bike. Super Sport's amazing. You know, this engine just, it just gives you drive. You know, you've got torque. This is what this engine brings. It's toy. It may not be as rev hungry as the V2 engine. It's much more about bottom end. Which I think is what makes a great bike, a great road bike. Even the faster stuff, I can't believe how stable this feels. Even going onto the brake, front brake there in the corner, you don't have hardly any weight transfer. Yeah, this is. This is very, very good. How are you getting on, Ollie? Oh, good, are you trying to put the wheelie control off? <laughs> Not today. Oh, it's impressively stable at high speed and so agile. Hey, how low speed. Oh, this is a great motorcycle. Woo! <laughs> the seat! 
Oh, this just wants more, it wants more, it's so capable. It's saying, go faster, go faster. Boy, yeah, brakes are so good as well. Gives you that confidence to push on. This isn't just my cup of tea. Oh, I didn't get you that bit of road there. But just direction changes. It's almost telepathic. <laughs> oh, the harder you push, the more it loves it. And the more I love it. Oh, what a thing this is. This is brilliant. I love middleweight bikes for the reason that you can work the engine, you can thrash them. You know, when you're, you're doing everything below sort of 100 mile an hour-ish. You know, you're not, the Street Fighter, which I've just stepped off, was amazing. But you look down and you're doing jail speed so quickly. This, you're working the engine, you're throwing it around. The dynamics of the bike, I think, is better than the Street Fighter. It's giving me more feedback. It's, I feel like I'm riding this. The Street Fighter does feel a bit like a techni technological marvel when it's doing so much for you. I feel like I'm in control here. This is a really engaging motorcycle. Yeah, this feels so agile, so short, so light, but with such stability at speed. That is uh, quite an achievement there. It's going to get the chops pat of approval. I feel like you could outride anything on this. However hard I push it, it feels like it's got more there. I'd love to take this on a little gnarly track like Cadwell Park. Oh, it would be incredible around there. Yeah, I, I'm thinking this actually could be better than the Hypermotard. I think that additional loss of weight, you know, that's. It's a bit lighter, makes a big difference. It's not more than a bit lighter, it's a good 20 kilos lighter, I'd say. That makes a huge difference. I can really feel that. Yeah, it's not quite as on the nose from a handling point of view, but it's so light, it doesn't matter. It makes up for that. Yeah, this is, uh, this is very good. Very good indeed. But I think the suspension, even though it's firm, but it's, it's plush as well. You can certainly see the quality of that gold stuff. You know, on, on some of the cheaper bikes, where they set them up firm, because by being firm, you know, it's easy just to make the suspension firm. But it's that plushness which you lose, it's the damping you get with, with a higher quality suspension. And that's what I'm noticing on this, the damping is so good. There's the flybys finished and the pictures finished. <laughs> it wheelies really well, this little thing. Of course, so I've heard. Not on the public road, obviously. But yeah, I really love this. I absolutely think this is fantastic. I've been, I'm so impressed with this bike. I knew I'd like the, the Monster. A lot of people said, test the Monster, Chopsy, test the Monster. I seem got a nice little underslung Brembo at the backlet. And I can see why it is, I mean, the Hyper is great, based on the same platform, but you can see on the Hyper, you've got the trellis frame, adds a lot more weight to the bike. With the monocoupe chassis sort of here, there's just a tiny little bit of chassis, which the airbox is sort of built into, and it just keeps the weight of the motorcycle really low, you know? And uh, yeah, I think this is my new favorite Ducati. Out of all the Ducatis, I think this is now my new favourite machine. I'm going to have to put this in a group test, I think, against the the best of the middleweights, perhaps against the KTM Duke R. You know, it fits into that sort of category, doesn't it? 111 horsepower. I know the Duke's got a little bit more power, but the weight's probably very similar. You know, this is a full twin, full V-twin, none of this parallel twin nonsense. <laughs> a proper motorcycle. So, yeah, we're going to have to bring this into our group test because, for me, this is top tier top tier middleweight action right back to Ducati HQ now for some pizzas it's hard life this YouTube stuff I tell you I think we've got some delicious wood-fired pizza when we get back ah it's a tough old game
tough old game. I'm mighty impressed with this little steed. I mean, I, th I thought it would all run out of puff, but it does run out of puff. Sort of when you get above three figures. I mean, it, yeah, it's 111 horsepower. It's not about, you know, going over in three figures. It's not a three figure motorcycle. It's not designed for that. And our streets aren't designed for that either. You know, as a road bike, I don't see why you'd want more than this. 111 horsepower never felt so fulfilling on the road. It's absolutely an awesome, awesome bike, this. Yeah, I guess I should try the non-SP, but I can tell the reason I like this is because of the chassis so good. And I think if I was to go non-SP, it would, uh, you're going to lose that, a lot of that. Hello! Ruby rides. An exceptional, exceptional Ooh. little bike. I don't mean little bike in a condescending way. I mean, it's not actually that little. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, <laughs>